Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2023 in another part of our playthrough. Today, we are playing on the brand new patch uh, where it's very focused on the PGA Championship, of course. So, uh, lots of things to look forward to, lots of gameplay improvements, all of that good stuff. And finally, the audio settings should save from uh play to play on the ps5 i am delighted by that um let's have a little look at some of our rewards we got 500 reward points for that that's fine and 500 reward points for that let's have a little look in the store since there has been an update um oh we do have some new swings which is quite nice these are some of the featured stuff Ooh, looks like lots of uh, new things in the store, which is good. This is what we like to see. Nice. Okay. Right, let's uh, head to clothing. Clothing is the, the big one for me. So there's the polo bundle there. That's the one that we bought. Oh, some stripey ones. They're cool. They're very cool. Okay, stuff to aim towards then. Looks like there's a, a lot more stuff now, which is exactly what I want to see. Okay, very good. Right, uh, golfer-wise, anything we can do? There's two skill points, but I uh, don't think we can actually do much here. We can do some stingers, but I'm not that bothered about that. Uh, get a gold hack. A gold runner, not that bothered about that really. Yeah, I want a bit more power, I think that's what I'll save up for as the next upgrade. But uh, yeah, let's get into the uh, the Tiburon uh, Championship at, at, at Pebble Beach. Um, do just want to have a little look and see. Yeah, Southern Hills Country Club is uh, where the PGA Championship is this season, but uh, next season it will move on to. Um, Oak Oak Hill, I think is that, is that the name of it. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what will be happening. Which uh, I'm really looking forward to, actually. If we do get there, obviously it's at Oak Hill in real life this year. So I wonder if you start a new career mode, whether that will happen. But uh, there you go, ten top ten finishes out of sixteen events. Scoring average is sixty nine. We're hey. Uh, three victories and FedEx Cup ranking of one. We are now the world number eight. Pretty good. Right. Uh, we are going to change our career settings to get rid of the AI pairing. Somebody made a good point. They said, "What? why are we even watching it when most of the time they're not even in contention for the championship? And yeah, I agree with that, to be fair. So let's get to Pebble Beach. First hole. Let's go for it. Here we go. Looking forward to it. One of my favourite golf courses, this. All the way since Tiger Woods 08, have I enjoyed EA Sports playing and golf the round here. Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, from the historic Pebble Beach Golf Links, live first-round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. Our leader is the Swede, Alex Norin. He's off to a good start at six under. We'll get right out to the action here as we head to the tee at the par four first. Okay, quite a nasty bit of wind here. What we can do. That's pretty good. Right in the middle of the fairway. And there's a good start. That one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. 130 yards to the front of the green. 140 yards to get you to the flag. Pin in the middle so it's a green light. Oh my god, look at the wind. Wow. Well, had a good look at the green, 
but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Sit down. Woo, Nelly. That one whizzes past the halt. Oh, difficult this might be out. a bogey coming up here. This is going to be tricky. A good 20 footer here. This is tough. for bogey oh what mm, happened there this hole really taking its toll now it jumped over the cup there we go uh, finally put there though it is for double bogey here double first bogey though and that's going to move him back to two over par Frank, interestingly, this hole number two plays as a par four for the U.S. Open. It is a par five. It's absolutely gettable, and players must take advantage. Certainly, Rich, off that back tee, uh, really, you've got to grab a driver. I know there's bunkers left and right, but the decision is whether that tee shot finishes in the fairway, because if it does, you're going to have a crack at this par five and two. If it doesn't, then you play the layup. Well, Frank, we're back here at Pebble Beach for the second time this year. Now it's the Tiburon Championship. And listen, this is a tournament folks want to win. There's no doubt about that. But but I think also most of our golfers have one eye on next week, and that is the PGA Championship. What do you think? No doubt about that, Rich. Uh, but this is more than a tune-up. We know that because it is Pebble Beach. This is America's St. Andrews. So anytime there's a chance not just to play, but play a tournament at Pebble Beach, most people are coming. I've just got to watch the wind here. There it comes. It's going to sit. Mm. It's not bad, you know. Really we'll hit that second that. shot on the button to this par five. But Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Stop. That stayed on the green. This a little under 10 feet for birdie. Yeah, nicely yeah, played. Well done. It's a birdie here at the second. On to the 397 yard par four third, where some players drive it over the trees on the left to cut the dog leg, while others play it more conventionally. This is a pretty hole, the third, 397 yards, just a gentle dog leg to the left. And you do have the option, if you're longer, maybe you just take it up over those trees and cut the dog leg, leaving yourself very short shot in. Or you can play it out to the right, have a little bit more in, but still certainly with a good chance at birdie. Surely this is impossible. I'm kind of tempted. Yeah, surely this is impossible. Let's give it a go, though. Ha! Well, we're going to be on the green to the, uh, the previous hole there. <laughs> oh, dear. Do we get away with it? <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. All right. Nasty. Mm, that is straight into the thick stuff. Yes, I'm not sure this is going to be our best round of golf ever. Thirteen feet away. It's left. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. in for a bogey here at the third. 
he is good. very quickly down to two over par. Frank, this is where it becomes really obvious where you are. You're at Pebble Beach. There's the Pacific Ocean. And this begins that magnificent seven-hole stretch right along the ocean. A fun hole, not long, 331 yards up the hill. We're at the fourth. Yeah, and each one of those seven holes that you refer to, Rich, uh, there's a common theme, which is don't look right. Because that's pretty much the ocean the whole way around. Um, and this one here, that decision has to be made. 330 to the front of the green. If there's a hint of a breeze, you could try and drive it. Otherwise, really, you've got to worry about that pot bunker. It's uh, between 230 and 250 yards. But um, as I first said, do not go right. And that will do just fine. So a bench. big drive and not much needed to carry here for his second. Okay, on the putting surface, but work to do from there. Now this for birdie. And this is back up the slope. Fortunately, not a great deal of movement to it, but there is a little bit of right to left. Oh, dear. Right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he'll well, stay. There we go. Move. I mean, that was a pretty horrific uh, round from our side of things. But uh, the AI manages so to get us to plus one. golfer well back after round one. And now, likely in a fight just to play the weekend. I think they're in a different zip code today, Rich. Uh, it was like watching two different players, really the ones at the top of the leaderboard and, uh, well, our cherished featured player. Not that... Yeah, not 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 the best from us. And, yeah, maybe we need to... We need to rethink our strategy for round two. Let's get into it. What's the projected cut line? Evens. And, uh, well, we are one under par. Well, we love it. Hey, the the AI saving us here. We'll we'll settle for that. It's not often we've been able to say that, is it? EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup today from the Monterey Peninsula and Pebble Beach. Live second-round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. Aaron Wise is your leader. He shows the way at seven under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, not guaranteed a weekend tee time just yet, hovering just one shot inside the cut line. So let's get you out to the action on the turn as we head to the tee at the par 4 10th. Okay, aim right. Let the wind bring it back in. That's nice. But Iron Wise having a very good no problems there. part of the That's season wind here. Up safely in the fairway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 151 yards left. Pin sitting in the back left portion of the green. Nope. Well, had a good line in the fairway, but there. couldn't we... do anything with it. That comes up woefully short. This is a nine-footer. Come on. Well played. It's a par nice par to start off. And that's going to be good enough to keep him just inside the cut line here in round two. Well, this is where Pebble Beach changes significantly. We're going away from the Pacific Ocean now, up the hill toward the forest, Frank. What do you think of the 11th hole? Well, it, it's tricky, Rich. But number one, because it's blind, as you've detailed, but uphill and it's sea level, so that tee shot's not going to go that far. Um, there is a run out down that left side, just inside the tree line there, that's about 308 yards, but you're not going to go that far. Um, so, so really, this you have to respect this hole. Just hit a fairway find.
put it in a great spot off the tee. Has just 86 yards left for his second shot. See what he can do with this. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Oh, it's not there. Well, it looked like it was. But, uh... No. Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11. Now that's going to keep him on the outside looking in in terms of playing the weekend. And now we arrive at the 202-yard par 3, 12. Best to work the ball right to left, landing as softly as possible on one of the firmest greens at Pebble Beach. Oh, I mean, how on earth are we meant to fit this one? This is uh, not going to go well, is it? We'll go six iron, nice and high. Let's see. Stuck the follow through right there. This, this could be really good. good. Oh my god, this is pretty good. Oh, ho. well. Yeah, very good shot, taking it in I'll right that. the hole, and a good look upcoming. Just six feet left for the birdie. And there it is. Okay, that'll help. There the she blows. Birdie here at number twelve. It out. And that might just wind up being the difference. As for the moment, that's going to move him inside the cut line in his quest to play the weekend. The 13th here at Pebble Beach is sort of a forgotten hole. It's only 401 yards of par four, but I promise you'll remember it if you make a birdie here, and you'll have a good chance if you put it in the correct position off the tee. It's pretty nice. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Now, no to his second from the fairway. 142 yards left to the hole. Player has to contend with this left to right breeze. This looks good. This looks very good. That's what we like to see. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Look how much. Left to right, right to left, left to right, there is. Mm, too much. Nah, that's got to slide by to the left. Oh, Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll stay at two under. Frank, the 14th hole, par five. It is one of the most difficult par fives in championship golf, isn't it? It certainly is, Rich. Not just because of the length of the hole, 570 plus yards, but um, reachable only really by the longest hitters in the right conditions. But it's the third shot. I, I've got to rank the third shot as probably the hardest short wedge shot um, right up there with the 15th hole at Augusta. Come on. That's okay. That's not bad. Oh, that's going left. How the hell is that going left with the wind that we have today? Had the distance right, just a tad offline. How about the chances for getting it up and down from that spot? Well, it's not in the thick stuff, Rich, so that's um, advantage number one. Really lies pretty good. I think mean, it's a standard pitch. That's not bad. 19 feet away. Oh, no. It's not going to reach. Just under swung that. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. 
Wow, four Ooh, under in the end. We'll set up for that. Under. Wow. So for our featured golfer, Frank, it is on to the week. And who knows, if you get out early on Saturday, try and post a number, see what happens. Exactly. There's such a fine line, Rich, between playing I mean, that playing was very well good. Sort of Five under round. No, no, we didn't have much to do with it. <laughs> Put it that way, but we did okay. We got we got out of there. And now into the weekend. Eight under. So made another four shots so far. That's pretty incredible. Tied for seventh. We've still got seven holes to go. This is uh looking good. So for this. EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Pebble Beach Golf Links on the California coast, live third round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay III and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. Your leader is Wake Forest's Will Zalatoris. He currently sits at 12 under par. So let's get out to the course as we pick up the action starting at the par 4 11. Wow, look at that. Five birdies in six. And now we are contenders. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here. And this, another fine tee shot. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Nota Begay the third. 118 left to the hole, sitting in the front left hole location. This looks good. Oh, it's spun. A little bit too much. Pity. Should be able to Texas wedge that, though. Half a club more there, as it is. Needs to get up and down to save par. Should be able to just run this on. That's a hit. Yeah, that ball lost just a little speed before it reached the green, and that's going to come up quite a bit short. Okay, that's good pop. It is in to save pop. Played that and pretty he's well. Main at eight under. First par three now on the back side. Frank, this is sort of the forgotten hole, the 12, 202 yards. It is. It's in the corner of the golf course. If you look at the right side of the screen, it's very narrow, but that's actually the entry or the gateway. And the reason why I say that is that's the full width of the putting surface. If you're going to take the bunker on, you've got to carry the ball another eight or nine yards. But one thing in your favor is this hole plays 10 yards downhill. Come on, this looks great. Oh, well, that could well have been a hole in one on another day. Okay. I feel Safe like we're getting board. closer to it. This will be a 14 foot putt here. No. That's right. I'm just going to sneak on by. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And he'll remain right where he is. Here we are at Pebbles' 13th 401-yard par four that some consider a bit of a breather on the course. Birdie is definitely a possibility here. The 13th here at Pebble Beach is sort of a forgotten hole. It's only 401 yards of par four, but I promise you'll remember it if you make a birdie here, and you'll have a good chance if you put it in the correct position off the tee. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. going to go an extra club here because of the wind and the uphill nature. Let's see. Good chance this at one. This looks pretty good, you know. Yeah. 
That's a good He's shot. And more well. importantly, too, a green in regulation. So, birdie chance. One. Oh, oh right so by the hole. The longer putts, you don't mind as much. The short ones, they tend to sting. That one finished off. It's in for par. And he'll stay right where he is. We arrive now at the 582-yard par 514. It is one of the hardest holes on the PGA Tour, year in, year out. This is a bear. Yeah, played that quite nicely. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five, Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Didn't quite hit that. This for birdie now at 14. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself yeah. with very makeable opportunities. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. He'll finish that one off with no problem. Well, another before. shot picked up by the Nails AI. We'll set up for that. Nine. And look at that. We are tied for seven. So unbelievable, golfers, isn't it? Good playing. But uh, Will Zalatoris is going to win, let's be honest. But uh, let's see how we get on in round four. We'll give ourselves the best possible chance. But uh, let's see. Well, there you go. Nobody is uh, has seen a, a more basic round from us. We've got five holes left at Pebble Beach. We'll give it a go, but uh, we're not really going to get anywhere near. EA Sports and the PGA Tour, so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Pebble Beach Golf Links, just south of Monterey, live final round coverage of the Tiburon Championship. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have a champion as we check the Sunday leaderboard. Your leader is Wake Forest's Will Zalatoris. He leads the pack at 17 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, far back to start this final round, eight shots off the pace. So we'll pick up the action on the tee at the par 5 14. Here we go then. Five holes for us. Just on our own today, no AI yeah, playing partner. Well, here we are again on the final round on the Sunday. Well, you can't well within the drop it any better than 20. that. That is a fine tee shot right there. So, in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. It's not going to curl to the right. It should do. Oh, what a shame. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. Lie looks good. Now, just need it. A good bunker shot. Beautiful. Beautifully played. Pretty good. That all that remains for a birdie four. And there it goes. Nah, that's how In the play this 14 hole. Ten that's under. In for birdie. And he'll get it to one under for the round. Ten under for the tournament. 
Here at the 15th, a good drive, Frank, would be right down the middle. A, a bad drive would be on 17-mile on drive. As, as scenic as it is, uh, it's not where you want to be, is it? It's out of bounds. Well, you can't afford to go right. You can't afford to pay for that real estate on the right either. So, yeah, anything down there. Um, and fortunately, it's a downhill tee shot. Uh, I know there's sort of five, four bunkers really down the left side. But really, it's the pop bunker that has to be avoided. There we go. Looks like we've played this well. Played it very well. A little over 80 yards here as he gets set for his second. Too much. That is not very good at all. That could cost him. Yes, yeah. hindsight's 2020. You just wish you took the shorter club now. Eighteen footer. It was almost impossible. Nope. Good effort, but that's gonna wander a few feet by. So back to back birdie bogeys. Okay, a bogey here at the 15th. And he's going to drop back to minus nine. Three holes to go. We now begin one of the most beautiful stretches of finishing holes all of golf. The march to the sea at Pebble Beach, starting with a 400 yard par 416. Key here carry the island bunker. That one going to split the middle. Maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Well, this looks good. Spun back a little bit, but we're OK. Uh, it's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Bertie. Hey, oh, it goes in. Yes. Beautiful. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for ten birdie. under. That's what we like. And he's into double figures now at 10 under par. Well, here we are, 17th hole, and this is where you can make your mark on the sport. Frank, so much history at this par three. It's just a great hole too, Rich. You know, that hourglass shape green on the angle. But, but you're right when you talk about history. You go back to 1972, and this hole played into the breeze. It was a one-iron for Jack Nicklaus. Said one of the greatest shots he ever hit. Actually hit the flagstick, nearly went in. And of course, one of my favorites is 1982. Tom Watson had missed this green to the left, and the late Bruce Edwards was his caddy. And uh, they were looking for options because they were in such a perilous situation with the US Open on the line. And Watson said, well, what about if I just hold it? And if you look really closely at the footage, as Watson starts to run across the green, he's pointing his finger back at Bruce and saying, I told you so. And then just a few years ago too, Gary Woodland hit a chip it on this green and made three. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Pretty yeah, good. good putt. It is in for par here at 17. And he's going to remain at 10 under. Well, you're not just playing the 18th hole at Pebble Beach, are you? You're taking a moment to soak it all in, stand on that tee box, look out at the Pacific Ocean, think about what's happened here, who's played this hole, who's made history here, and then you let it rip. Just got to be careful of the, the tree here. Yeah, that looks okay. 
No issues here. That is into the fairway. Okay, got wind coming back at us here. Should be okay. That was pretty close, wasn't it? Yeah, very nice. Ready to finish the tournament then. Great way to finish this off the for final 11 under. shot with a birdie opportunity. Okay, you know what? so that's a lost not bad. opportunity there, a three-putt par at the last. And that'll be a final round score of 70. So tied for seventh in the end, another well, top ten finish. For us here today. I'd like to thank my partner, Frank Nabolo. Enjoyed it, Frank. Certainly did, Rich. Once again, the golf course provided more than a stern test. And for the entire team, I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time. Very good. Well, enjoyed that. And, of course... Uh, we have got the PGA Tour champion or the PGA Championship next time out. That's going to be a biggie. Uh, looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. If you've enjoyed this episode, then give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for plenty more uh, PGA Tour videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.